Bill woke up this morning with yet another series of crime scenes all across the city. JSO is investigating after at least four shootings today, three of them coming before sunrise. JSO says one of those victims has life threatening injuries and according to both JSO's official statistics and our own count tonight, the city has tied its homicide total from last year when there was 158. Kelly Tracy is live at the scene of one of the most readings, uh, recent shootings in Englewood tonight with more. Katie, uh, Kaylee, excuse me. Yeah, Jeff, well, the homicide rate last year was the highest that we'd seen in almost two decades and still with almost a month and a half left in 2020. We're on pace to see the deadliest rate in Jacksonville in again more than two decades. Flashing police lights and crime scene tape, all too familiar scenes in Jacksonville. I don't know what stops that unless you find something for the community, for these young men and women to do that gives them a job and gives them the ability to feel good about themselves. Dan Scanlon has covered crime in Jacksonville for decades for the Florida Times Union. He told us last year the homicide rate in 2019 was the highest he'd seen in a while, 158 lives lost a number the city hadn't seen in close to two decades. November 15th, 2020, we're already matching last year's total, according to JSO's transparency website and First Coast News' homicide tracker. Between the COVID virus lockdown, the fact that people don't have a lot of jobs and a lot of money, they may be turning to other things right now, and those other things include drug deals that go bad, plus we're seeing some domestic issues. At the end of October, Mayor Lenny Curry, Sheriff Mike Williams, and State Attorney Melissa Nelson announced long-term investments to reduce violence in the city. We need people in the neighborhoods, and they need to do it in a way that they feel safe and protected. Part of that plan, a gun bounty program. If you turn in someone who's carrying a gun illegally, and that anonymous tip leads to an arrest and the gun is off the streets, you'll get $1,000. Sheriff Williams said a small number of people are behind most of the violence, specifically gangs and other groups. People need to know that, that, that by and large, though, our neighborhoods are not the wild, wild west. To be clear, the deaths included in the homicide rate are not just deaths by shootings. In October, Williams and Curry acknowledged the violence is extremely disheartening. Curry said the software shot spotter and programs like Cure Violence are helping decrease the violence, but more needs to be done.